Hi everyone, it's Dawn. Welcome back to my channel. So on Instagram a couple days ago, I had asked what kind of video get ready with me you would like to see. An all drugstore get ready with me, a clean beauty get ready with me, or a Mac get ready with me. And it was a tie between drugstore and Mac. So I thought I would do both. So I am doing a Thanksgiving day makeup look using all drugstore. So all the products that I'm using, they're not even like the Ulta drugstore side where they have ColourPop and Juvia's Place and some other brands that you can get at Ulta or on the website. The products I'm sharing with you are not new. They're tried and true favorites of mine that I've used on and off for years. And some of them are holy grail products that I use basically every day and um, you have probably seen these products before on my channel in fact I know you have and the best part is that I think most of you have some of these products if not all of them or you've tried them in the past and if you haven't and would like to get them <laughs> you just have to go into Walgreens Rite Aid your grocery store or Target or you know, those kinds of stores. So they're really affordable and easily accessible. And I wanted to focus on something today on gratitude. And I know that sounds cliche because it's the Thanksgiving season. And of course, everyone's talking about gratitude right now. But I have been doing something for a while, a few years, where I've been practicing when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is give thanks. And I usually just give thanks. I am a Christian, so I do give thanks to Jesus. And I usually just wake up and say, thank you for the good night's sleep. Thank you for my warm bed. Thank you for the day I have ahead of me and walk with me, that kind of thing. And I have to practice it because some days, even after years of doing this, I occasionally forget, but more often I don't want to. Like I'll wake up and be stubborn, like the fl my flesh, you know, my sinful nature. I wake up and I'm kind of like, I'm just not feeling it. But just because I'm not uh, motivated to do it, I can still be disciplined to do it. So I try to then discipline myself and do it anyway. And it does feel contrived and like it's not coming naturally, but it's always worth my while. And it does always kind of set my heart right. And I notice it later in the day. Like sometimes when I'm giving thanks, it's kind of like a prayer time, but mostly giving thanks. But if there is something heavy on my heart and I share that, I'll notice God seeing me. Like during my day, I'll get a sign somehow that he's either worked it out in an amazing way, if it's something that I was like a little bit worried about or stressed about, or if I'm worried about one of my kids or a situation. It's just amazing how he always shows up for me, even though I don't always want to show up for him. So I have been um, in a woman's group this year after taking a hiatus for two years. It's a woman's Bible study. It's a woman's group. And we were studying Colossians. And I just wanted to encourage you, please don't click out, even if you're not a Christian or don't believe in Christ, um, whatever you believe in, there are studies done that show practicing gratefulness and thankfulness rewires your brain to be able to do it more often and people become happier. And there's a lot of studies and if you need me to link some, I can. But there's, you know, we hear about them all the time and science has proven that. There's always something that you can be thankful for. So I often think of the things that I complain about. I complain about my house being a mess or I complain about I have to do this today and it's going to be a busy day instead of saying I'm able to do this today. I have a healthy body to do these things or I have a house to clean, a comfortable, safe place for our family to be and just spinning things like that. So I did talk to my daughter this week on the phone and she was having a bad day and it was just like your run of the mill bad day. Some bad things happened, like one of her pets died, but um, 
I, I don't want to minimize it by saying she knew it was going to happen or the pet was getting old and that kind of thing, but, but she kind of knew it was going to happen and the pet was getting old. She should still be sad, but she was complaining about that and she was complaining about some other little things kind of piling on. And when I was speaking to her, I said, well, think about the blessings that come from that or think about it this way. And her response was a typical response from one of my kids just let me be sad. I just want to be sad right now. Can you just let me be sad? I was like, no, no, I can't. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I do. I do let her. I'll say, okay, yeah, you're right. You do need to feel what you're feeling, but don't let yourself. I feel like when I start to have a pity party or I let myself feel sad, but then I start piling on all these other things. And because I'm a Christian, I know it's like from the enemy, from the devil. And like, um, then I start hearing those voices in my head, I, like not voices literally in my head, but my own voices in my head that accuse me of things or make me feel worse or pull me down deeper. And it's amazing because science also proves that when you are wallowing in the muck and mire of how, what a bad person you are, or how bad your life is and that kind of thing, that will take you in a spin and rewire your brain in a different direction. So there are some habits in disciplining ourselves to see the, the be, be thankful, to have a thankful heart. And then no matter how little you have, it's a lot and it's enough. But people who have a little, in my opinion, sometimes are way more thankful and receive the blessings of what they have, like really receive them more than people who have so much. I can think of a small example when I was watching um, a documentary on either Netflix or Amazon Prime or something called Bling Ring. And it was about these um, like um, thieves that would break into celebrities' houses and steal things. And they were able to do this and they broke into Paris Hilton's house. If you remember, Paris Hilton was like Kim Kardashian from like a 15 years ago. And she had so much and they would go into her house and steal things. And they did it multiple times and she never noticed. And then finally, after they stole some really big things, she noticed. And then I thought, wow, you know, it's interesting that sometimes the more we have, the less thankful we are for what we have. Anyway, just some things I've been kind of meditating on or thinking on. I'm trying to be thoughtful in this Thanksgiving season. So I'm gabbing intentionally today. I wanted to talk to you about these things. And then I thought I would do a get ready with me, very simple drugstore get ready with me while I share some things that I have been thinking about. And these are things that I didn't plan to share. I wasn't planning on doing this video, but after I was writing all these things down that I complain about on a regular basis and trying to change my thinking, I thought that I would share some of them with you because it's encouraging. And and I feel encouraged when people share these things with me. So I hope that I will encourage you. So let's just jump in and get started. I'm just going to use the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. And my shade is 115 Ivory. And um, there's two formulas. There's also a dewy formula. So if you have very dry skin, you might want to try that one. But briefly, what I like about this is that it says that it's matte and it does leave me with a skin-like finish. I wouldn't necessarily call it matte, but what I do find that it does that I really like is where it says poreless. It really does blur pores and it doesn't gather up in them. And I just really like that a lot. So this is one of my favorite drugstore foundations and I've had more bottles. I probably have had, um, I would want to say like maybe five or six bottles of this over the years. I'm just about finished with this one. Five to six hours of really good wear time. So it's not like a sticky foundation, like um, the more um, like extreme wear sweat proof foundations that are so popular now. I find that when I use those, they um, are kind of sticky. And when I wash my face in the shower, at the end of the day, I still have a little bit of residue in certain places on my face. 
and I have to use some makeup remover or kind of wash my face again when I get out of the shower. Um, and I don't mind because I appreciate that long wear, but this really does give me, it says it's good for about six hours and I wear it for more like eight to 10 hours and it holds up just fine. And I have oily combination skin, so it doesn't break up on me or anything like that. If you are young, you like younger than me, <laughs> younger than 50, then you have, um, and you have oily skin, it might be oilier than mine is. And I don't know, it might not wear as long. Okay, so I said I wasn't gonna talk too much about that and I just totally talked about it. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows with this Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil and I'll link mine in the shade I have. I don't wanna put my glasses on to see. And I like it because it's got this retractable product on one side and the spoolie on the next, which I really appreciate. And so I often complain about my house being cluttered and messy and that can really get to someone that can really get to a stay-at-home mom or a dad or whoever's taking care of the house and I do all the cleaning myself I don't have anyone helping me when my kids were younger I mean I have my family helping me when I ask them to but when my kids were little we did have somebody who would come in and do deep cleaning from time to time but I gave that up when my two eldest left the nest and I have more time on my hands. So I do clean the house myself and I complain. So it can stress you out if you're in charge of keeping a space or your home neat and tidy and you feel like people are working against you sometimes and they're not, you know, they're not. They probably aren't even aware that, you know, that they make you feel like they're working against you. And I'm gonna use the Milani Eyelid Primer. This is a really great one from the drugstore. It's very hydrating and it does make my eyeshadow stay in place all day. So if you are like me, you might feel stressed out when your home gets cluttered or if you're the person in charge of keeping it neat and tidy. And I started to think about that and I wrote that down and then I thought, well, how blessed am I that I have a home, that it's a comfortable, cozy home, that we have heat, that we have a laundry room that has a washer and dryer in it so I don't have to go to the laundromat and do my laundry, that we always have clean clothes. We probably wash our clothes more than we even need to. That's a blessing to have that in my home and to not have to leave anywhere. And my kitchen gets messy because I do have four kids. Two of them are living at home still and they're teenage boys. So if you are the mom of boys or teenagers, you will understand that they eat a lot and that they snack a lot, especially teenage boys. And my boys are swimmers, so they're always hungry. And I always am cleaning up the kitchen and I'm always complaining about the countertop on our island. When we purchased this house, it has a black granite um, countertop on the island and I feel like it shows everything. So I'm constantly cleaning it and complaining to my husband about wanting to change that out to something lighter. And how blessed am I to have a kitchen? Yeah. I've got the Milani eyelid primer on. And now, ladies, if you have not tried any of these CoverGirl palettes, I would urge you to. These are the three I have, and I think there's two more. I have the CoverGirl Peach Punch palette, and it's so beautiful. And then I have the Chocoholic. I mean, that name alone <laughs> makes you want to purchase it. And then I have the Roses. And I love both of these. I love all three of them, actually. And I'm not even sure which one I'm going to use today. I think I am going to go with the Chocoholic and maybe pull a color or two out of the roses, but these are the palettes that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to start with the Chocoholic. It's a beautiful late fall winter palette. So this is the one I'm going to use. It does smell ever so slightly of chocolate. So just know that. I'm just going to go ahead and start putting on my eye makeup. So I'm always cleaning the kitchen, but how thankful 
I am that we have food in our refrigerator that we can afford to go grocery shopping. With these really expensive food prices that keep going up all the time, it's getting harder and harder for people to afford everything that they need on their grocery list, or they might have to sacrifice certain like items that you might not normally purchase. And my husband and I are constantly running to the grocery store this past week to get the turkeys. We're gonna put one in a um, smoker and then one we're, bake we're roasting in the oven. And you know now we have to get some odds and ends, some last minute things that we need. So that is such a blessing to be able to go to the grocery store, to have a car to get to the grocery store and to be able to afford gas in your car. We complain about the gas prices, but yet we're able to get that gas and go to the grocery store. So there's a flip on that. You know, we're constantly moaning and groaning about the gas prices, but yet we're still able to get the gas. So we might need to make sacrifices and not take long trips and things like that, but you know, we can afford to get to the grocery store to get our food or do whatever we wanna do. And then when we get home, I have a safe, warm, I mentioned that's really cold out, a warm home and it's cozy and I can decorate it however I want. I can paint the walls however I want. Um, our bedding, we can select whatever we want to put on our beds and be comfortable and wash our sheets and keep everything clean. You'll know that I have dogs if you watch my channel and I have them on my bed sometimes. So I, once a week, I will take everything off my bed and just wash it, just to keep it clean. But, um, and then I have dogs, you know, I complain <laughs> that they leave, you know, messes that dogs do. But they give me so much love and they give our family so much love. So that's another thing that I'm thankful for. I'm going in with this color. And I wouldn't even need my home or be complaining about how much my kids eat or mess up the kitchen if I didn't have four children. And I have four children and how blessed am I to have been able to have four children? And I have two girls and two boys, two older girls and two younger boys. And what a blessing that is. I love them with all my heart. And they are good, gentle, gentle kids. They are um, thoughtful and they're intelligent and they try to make the world a better place. They have never been in any like trouble. Their hearts are good. So I'm very, very thankful for that. I'm thankful for my husband, Larry, my partner. We've been married 25 years and he is the best father, most hands-on dad and always has been. He's always helped me with everything I've needed help with. And, you know, during all those children, you know, you have hormones and you get depressed or you would get anxious. And he was always there to listen to me and take care of me and help me through those times. And he's a wonderful provider. He makes us his priority. He's the youngest of 12 and he cares so much for his family, his sisters and his brothers, and they're very close and his heart is really good and he's a very gentle person as well and he loves to take care of people and he loves to cook more than I love to cook and he is a fantastic cook so I appreciate that so much. He messes up the kitchen and he cooks really differently than I do. I put things away as I go and I try to control and contain the mess that I usually clean up but um, when he's in the kitchen and there's flour flying in the air and he's cooking up a storm or he's using the bread machine to try to make a loaf of bread. There's times where I've not been so nice. And how blessed am I that I have a husband who takes care of me, who cares for me, who's a good father and wants to cook for us. A little brush and a little prep and prime. I'm gonna go into this shade right here. The next thing that I wrote down on my list is, again, my husband, he works long hours and it has been a really, really busy time for him. 
he's a family practice physician and so he's been in the front lines during COVID and he's been keeping, he's never missed a day of work during that time, during the past few years. And he's taken care of so many people and I complain about the long hours sometimes, but what a gift it is that he's able to do this, that he's able to help so many people and keep them out of the hospital, help them get home from the hospital to be with their families. He really cares and he puts his heart and soul into it. As you all know, the past couple of years have been a really um, stressful time in our society as a culture with COVID and so many other heated issues going on. And he, my husband deals with the general public and he tries to keep peace and take care of people. And it's not always easy. And I'm thankful that he will share that with me and I can be a sounding board for him. Um, and sometimes I would complain about that, but what a blessing it is that I could offer him that support and um, help ease that burden a little bit for him. Okay, the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser, a holy grail product for me. This is the brightener and it is number, I think it's 160, I'll link it. And then I have the concealer. So I'm just gonna put the brightener on first and kind of clean up a little bit beneath my eye with the brightener. So it's gonna look pretty like pink or, or light but it's just because I'm color correcting and cleaning up. I'm just gonna take this kind of sparkly brown shade right here. Okay, here's one that I think a lot of you can relate to. I complain about wanting to lose weight or feeling like I need to control my diet all the time. And, you know, I'm always talking about that and trying to be better with my diet in eating properly or um, some of us intermittent fast or we are keto or we are vegan or vegetarian and we have all these dietary options and that doesn't even include if you are sick or something and have to have certain dietary options but how blessed are we that we are in a land of abundance again where we can get access too, too much food, where there are people who don't even have any food at all. Now I sound like my own mom, <laughs> you know, growing up. There's children starving. You need to eat everything on your plate. I never said that to my kids, but it is true. There are people starving. Okay, CoverGirl Exhibitionist Eyeliner, and this is just in a nice brown shade. And I like this for tight lining my upper lash line. Okay, today I'm gonna to use the tubing mascara from L'Oreal and this is the Double Extend. And it's a really good tubing mascara. It has the primer on one end and it has the mascara on the other. And I'll just do one eye and then I'll do the other eye off camera. The next thing I'm thankful for is books and media that provides us information. And we might complain, or I do sometimes about the conflicting information that we can find online or in newspapers and things like that. But how blessed are we that we can do our own research, that we can, I ask God for wisdom and search out answers on my own and come up with my own conclusions. The bad thing about it that I complain about is that if you feel like you really just believe one thing, you can surround yourself with media that only supports that view and then you don't hear the other side and it's like an echo chamber. So you're hearing what you want to hear but we can read all sorts of things, not just one side of an issue. We can go online and we can search out all different sources of information and come up with our own conclusions. And yeah, you know, sometimes we still feel like we're not getting to the bottom of it or the truth. And that's a little bit 
kind of where my faith comes into because I just always tell God to lead me to wisdom to help me find the truth about a matter if it's important to me or if it's important for me to know. So that way I can make up my own mind about how I feel about things and even, um, you know, anything. It can be, it doesn't have to be political. It doesn't have to be religious. But even during like election times, you can search out candidates and read about them and try to learn as much as you can. And then we have the right to vote. And I was able to go and vote. And that's such a blessing. You know, it was kind of a pain because I had to stand in line. There were a lot of people there this time around, but I was able to go and stand in line and let my own voice be heard. And what a blessing is that to live in a democracy where your voice can be heard. Okay, I really like this mascara. It's the first tubing mascara I ever used. Is it the very best tubing mascara on the market? No, it's not, but it's pretty darn good. And the thing that I like about it is that it is a tubing mascara. It's very long wearing and it's voluminous and it's lengthening. The thing I don't like about it, which isn't a deal breaker, is that it's very matte. It's got a very matte finish. So sometimes I like a little bit of a little gloss to my mascara. So um, yeah, but again, I'm really grateful that there are so many choices of tubing mascaras out there. You know, all these little things that we can make choices about and we take for granted and how blessed we are to have choices. So this palette, I'm just gonna go into this really light color right here with like a pointed like pencil brush and just hit the inner corner for just a little bit of sparkle there. and maybe a little bit right in the center of my lid. It'll highlight. This is a favorite of mine, and you've heard me talk about this on my channel before, and it's from Revlon, and it's Apricute. I'll link it. I'm a little bit worried that Revlon might go under. They did file for bankruptcy, and I'm starting to see some of their products kind of clear out in some of my stores. So um, yeah, I'm a little bit, I have some Holy Grail products from Revlon that like these blushes, I have them in the pink color, I have it in the mauve color. They're dusty when you use them, but they stay put all day long and the colors are really beautiful. And Apricute is like a rose, kind of looks like a rose gold on I me. Mean, it doesn't have any shimmer. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, but um, I don't know. I wouldn't call it a matte, but I guess it might be a matte. <laughs> I think it is a matte. It just has a little bit of a sheen to it. And now I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Lumi Bronzer. This is a favorite of mine. I just discovered this this summer, and it's such a pretty bronzer. I think mine is definitely in the lightest shade, and it's just so natural and pretty, and it adds some life to my face. NYX Lip Liner, and I think this is in the shade Mauve. I'll link it. I love these lipsticks from CoverGirl. They have hyaluronic acid in them. They're for like aging lips. And I have Gracious Pink and Elegant Nude. They're so beautiful. These were $1.99 at Walgreens on sale or maybe clearance. I don't know if they're discontinuing them, but they are so good. And I'm gonna use Gracious Pink. I'm gonna set my face with the Fit Me powder. And I love this powder. I remember when I first purchased it for the very first time. I heard Emily Noel talking about it and I think she was comparing it to the Laura Mercier setting powder. I do have that one too and I would agree this is really, really good. You don't need to use a really expensive setting powder these days. They're so, so good and I am thankful for that. That drugstore makeup is really, really great and it's as good as high-end makeup in a lot of cases. So on any budget, we can still look good and feel good, which leads me to the next thing as I put on my lip gloss. And this is Sparkling Rose, it's from e.l.f. It's a favorite of mine. And I keep this in my purse, it's really great. Just in the center. And 
I am so thankful for my health because I am able to go on adventures with my friends and family. I'm able to travel. I'm able to um, take my son on his college visits that we have to go on. We have a couple scheduled this week. And I'm very thankful for my car and that it has four wheel drive because here in the Midwest it's snowing and I don't really have to worry about the roads as much because my car can handle it. And um, yeah, so I think that's about everything. I mean, I'm thankful for so many more things, things I complain about all the time. Like with the car, I complain about the weather, I complain about getting around, but how thankful am I that I have a car that can handle that kind of weather, right? Um, we can flip any complaint we have into a blessing because if it weren't for our situation in life, we might not even have that problem in the first place. Like you might be having a, a conflict or problem with a friend, but you have a friend or you have friends. And if you didn't have friends, you wouldn't have those conflicts. So it's always, there's always something to be thankful for. And I hope that you found this encouraging and not too annoying like my kids do when I tell them things like this. But I thought it was appropriate because it's Thanksgiving time and it really helps me to focus on having a thankful heart. And on Thanksgiving Day, I host, some of you have asked me, and we've hosted Thanksgiving for the past 20 years, my husband and I. So we have it pretty much down to a science. And ever since our kids were little, we would assign them like little tasks to do. And the tasks have gotten bigger and bigger as they've grown and matured. So now we have four like able-bodied basically adults to help us. So there's six of us preparing the meal because my eldest is coming home for the holiday. Thank, thankful for that. And I am going to do everything I can on Thanksgiving to not fuss and run around the house and get freaked out about things not being right or not being perfect or um, that kind of thing. I want to enjoy my family and my husband's, my in-laws who are family to me as well and really just bask in the day. And I hope you are gonna do that as well. So thank you for spending some time with me and leave me any comments or questions down below and let me know what just one thing that you're really thankful for or something that you complain about, but now you can see it in a different way. I love interacting with you. So I hope that you will post down below in the comment section. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving and I will see you soon.